Money morning, everybody. Michelle is here. Michelle is here on this uh, September the 2nd, 2024. September the 2nd. And it's a, oh gosh, I didn't even know. It's a Monday. Monday. Um, so it's a Monday and I, and I believe, well, let me not say I believe. It is a holiday weekend. Um holiday weekend i think it's labor day or something like that but i put in a lot of videos about uh once you come to a healed point you know come to to a new almost a new lease on life i mean it's it's, it's like wow you start um creating your own traditions and customs uh that's what i uh stressed as well for people that are I'm looking over there because I thought I saw something. Okay, all right, I thought I saw something moving. Ha <laughs> ha, we'll need to take care of that. So, um, what I liked about my family, you know, growing up, is um, my parents created their own realities, honey. <laughs> my mom and dad, they created their own realities. They celebrated whatever they wanted. And if they didn't want to celebrate it, it wasn't celebrated. So, I got into a uh, a reality of, you know, whatever. You know, my mom, like I said, she used to just invite the whole neighborhood over for for uh, a barbecue, cookouts. And then some days she, she didn't want to be bothered with it all, at, at all. And that's, that's when I noticed certain changes, gradual changes in her personality. So... You want to make your own reality if you choose to, and I think it's it, I think it's almost uh, joyous when you do, where you're not just following the crowd or following the lead. When I was um, in my twenties and thirties, I think I went to. I mean, I was I was in the I was in those clubs. <laughs> I don't know how I did it either. I used to have work full time, sometimes with overtime hours, and still be able to hang out in a club until three in the morning, three or four in the morning, and then get up. I mean, come on. But it makes sense why, you know, I was having these certain type of health issues. You know, that stuff catches up with you. You know, I was having those certain type of health issues for a reason. It's because I was just not, uh, I, I wasn't just. I wasn't taking care of myself. I felt, I, you know, I, I believed because I looked good, you know, I was looking good externally that I didn't realize what was going on internally. And so, it, it, and it shows up. At some point in, in our future, a lot of our activities and behaviors are going to show up in our symptoms. You know what I mean? You know, whatever people go through. I know a lot of women, you know, this menopause, this menopause thing is, uh, is, uh, is kind of devastating for a lot of women. But I'm going to be real honest with you. Um, I had my moments, but it wasn't as devastating as uh, some, of the, some of the, you know, the information I hear from other people, from other women about, you know, their menopausal journal journeys. For me, yes, I had the, 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 um, the traditional things happening to me, but they were not debilitating. Like I know for some it's debilitating to where, you know, um, I knew someone, uh, she was, a. Uh, I was uh, attempting to take some Spanish. This was back, <laughs> back in my like late 20s, early 30s. I wanted to uh, bring in another language into my, uh, my portfolio of skills and abilities, right? And, you know, it was hard. I, you know, I didn't complete the class. And the reason I didn't complete the, the, um, the uh, Spanish class is because I I just wasn't disciplined back then and then also the teacher I had she started developing all these developing problems with just itching itching scratching itchy you know she was having some debilitating uh, symptoms and she couldn't work it made you know it was she just could not work you know because she, you know because I move a lot I move around I'm touching and I do that just by, you know, that's just a habit I have. But imagine itching like that. She was itching till she had, she was scratching, scratching, scratching. But so it's a lot of, a lot of us are going to get all kinds of symptoms and stuff when we are growing, developing. And when you come to a point of healing, I mean, again, you, uh, let's make it clear. When you come to a point of being healed 
from past traumas, past events that no longer are relevant as far as uh, determining your path. Okay, make that clear. Yes, we all have wounds and heal, I mean, wounds and scars and, and, and all kind of things that we've, we've all experienced as life experiences. But once you heal that, that closes that bar of experiences. And you open yourself up, Lotus, to another reality of events that will open up or may cause other wounds in your body in your mind, in your reality. So, you you know, so in other words, expect the unexpected. There's no telling what you may be encountering, especially regarding our health because of the situation with our planet. Uh, and then, you know, of course, what is happening, you know, because like I said, it all starts here in your thoughts. And then it manifests. A lot of people talk about manifesting. You know, make sure you understand these words you're using, and make sure that's the that, that's the kind of tone and sounds you wanna you wanna resonate to, because you're gonna come across so many different kind of uh, realities in your life that you've never experienced before. And please welcome that, welcome it, so that it can help you um, become more developed, aware, conscious, you know, mature. Okay, maturity is so important, regardless of your age. You need to come out of this, these certain immature behaviors, you know, childish behavior and acting, and come into a maturity, you know, that that opens you up to new experiences. Um, but I know, like I said, a lot of people are having these physical uh, situations happening to them as they're growing older. And a lot of it has to do with the environment, you know, as well, the food, the water, the climate, you know. And so we just have to navigate a little bit differently. You know, you, you need to, you know, if you have, you know, you, if you have some habits and stuff that you, you know that they're poor habits, you know, consider uh, alternative behaviors and actions that may be a little bit more healthier, whatever that means to you, find out what health means to you. My healthiness may not be the same as your healthiness. Uh, I told you on a, a few videos, you know, I used to do eat all kind of stuff, drink all kind of stuff. And I didn't like how it was making me feel, how it was affecting my, my productivity or affecting my, you know, my engagement in life. So, again, once you get to this healed point, it's like being newborn, like being a reborn person. Because now you got other life experiences that you need to deal with. You need to just go head on and deal with them. You know, but at the same time, you may have these uh, leftover uh, uh, reactions to certain behaviors and actions from your past that's interfering with you in your physical um you know, your physical reality, you know, you may, like for me, all, you know, it, it, most of the people I talk to is always about sleep. I went, you know, I went from two, from one to two hours of sleep, one to two hours of sleep to now from five to eight. Okay. From five to eight. And I get up and I'm, you know, I'm joyful and enthusiastic. But this morning, man, I slept in this morning. And it felt good uh, because I came in kind of late last night. And so I slept in. I enjoyed it, but I was also ready to get up and start my day because I got things to do later. So being healed is like being reborn. You know, it's a new reality. It's like a new day. And you're going to be getting blowback from people, especially people that know you or think they know you. Okay, they go, you're going to get blowback from them, especially, you know, if you're in these kind of, if you're in a relationship that was difficult from the beginning and, you know, neither one of you were supporting each other, you know, blah, 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 blah. So just, just know that um, you're going to need some guidance 
from people uh, like myself and others. You know, you're going to possibly need some professional guidance as well. Make sure you do your discernment, do your research, and, you know, ask questions. You know, ask questions of, uh, and, be, and be mindful that, you know, your reality, no matter how much someone is guiding you, your reality is your reality. And you need to be able to make those choices and not be necessarily concerned about what happened to me. And, and 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 I guess it's, there's a fear. Like I said, I don't know what I'm doing. You know, it might with my second half of my life is what I call it. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I know, I know. All I know is I got paperwork all over my desk up there. I know I got paperwork everywhere. Uh, <clears throat> I have uh, courses that I'm taking. Uh, I'm listening to this person. I'm listening to that person. And I am not liking it sometimes, but it's not going to stop me. But it doesn't mean I'm I like it, because <laughs> a matter of fact, I don't. <laughs> I'm ready to you know I'm ready to get it going. But <clears throat> you do have to build the sound the foundation properly. So you know, as you build in a foundation, it's a horizontal vertical. You know, build it properly horizontally as you are vertical. You know, doing that vertical climb. So, ah, enjoy these moments. You know, make it exciting. You know, make it exciting. Make it fun. Um, and you know, before you know it, you know, you you'll be you'll be there. You'll be there. And uh, not to say that something won't come in and try to pull you back, pull you back. That's always will be the reality. So just accept that. So I just want to give out that. This I, I figure this is inspirational to those of you who who want to be there. You know, if you want to be there, <clears throat> several of us can help you get there. <clears throat> but it's not your mama's reality, your daddy's reality. It's not your culture's reality no more. It's not your gender reality no more. It has changed. Things have evolved. At the same time, devolved. And it, the devolvement is via the consciousness. And I want to help you evolve your consciousness because that is your birthright. And once you evolve your consciousness, you will regain your powers and abilities and it's going to seem like magic to you. Okay? So just look forward to that joyful time where you realize who has the power and who doesn't. Okay? Peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains. Universal love. Love yourself. Heal yourself. And watch what opens up for you. Okay? Trust me. I'll be back.